Hey everyone, so this video has a truck in it. <laughs> hey everyone, so this video is my favourites of the moment. It's not really a monthly favourites video because I don't do them every month. Because to be honest, they don't really change that much, but there are a few different things at the moment, so I thought I would share them with you guys. Most of them, pretty much all of them, are actually beauty products except for one. So, I will show you what my favourite things are at the moment. The first is a blusher, and this is by MAC, and it's cute. It's this really nice pale pink colour. you can see there. And I've hit pan on that. I really really like this one. The next is ID Ben Minerals um, Mineral Veil. I've kind of been getting into the mineral foundations a bit more again lately because to be honest I'm really not a fan of liquid foundation. I just can't get it to look good on my skin and now that it's getting warmer I tend to sweat and I sweat on my chin here and in the corners of my nose and my foundation just kind of slides off my face so when I use a mineral foundation I don't really get that as much so I've been really liking that and setting it with the actual mineral veil just as a like a translucent top coat to go over it but I really like this one to set my foundation if I am using liquid um, or just over the top of a mineral foundation it's great as well the next thing I've been liking is an eyebrow pencil, which is actually by the brand Savvy by DB, which is available in Priceline stores in Australia, and it's their brown eyebrow pencil. It's just this brown, obviously medium brown tone. Um, I recently rediscovered this in my collection, and I've been using this quite regularly, and I really like it. Next is more of a skincare product, which I've repurchased over and over again because I really, really like it. It's the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Skin Protectant. Now you can use it on top of really, really dry skin. Sometimes I get scales on my nose. <laughs> um, quite often I do, um, around here and around there, get really dry flaky skin. I pop that on before I go to bed and I wake up and my skin's a lot softer. I also use this on my hands as a really deep hand moisturiser or on my lips if I've got chapped lips. So I really like this and as you can see I've almost gone through this one. There's quite a lot in there though um, but I really like this product as well. And next a lot of you could probably guess brushes. I really really like the Real Techniques brushes by Samantha Chapman. They are fantastic, um, even for the price that they sell for in Australia, which is still really expensive compared to the rest of the world. They are still great value. I really, really like these, particularly these four. Um, the first one is their shadow brush, which is just a standard everyday eyeshadow brush. It's good to pack on colour. Uh, you can use it to blend if you wanted to, but I'm, I really like that one. Uh, the contour brush, which you can pretty much use for almost everything. You could use it for a foundation brush if you wanted to. Um, I've used this to apply uh, highlighter in powder form and liquid form. I've used it on a cream blusher, which worked really well to sort of just feather it and blend it out. I've used it for blushes, I've used it for bronzer, um, I've used it for, I have actually used it for powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer as well. So I really, really like this brush and um, it's probably one of my favourite brushes. Although the next one is my favourite by far. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush, which is a fantastic brush. It just gives the perfect shape for the crease. It blends really well. You can apply colour all over the lid with this. You can also set your concealer or around the areas where you might get a little sweaty. Um, set the foundations with powder. I really, really like this one. This is definitely my favourite of the whole range. Uh, and the last one that I actually... I, I When I first bought them, I didn't think that I would use this one as much as I have been, but it's their accent brush. It's this really tiny little flat eyeshadow brush, but I've been using that for the just the inner part. You could use it, also use it as a lip brush or an eye... Um, eyebrow brush if you wanted to as well uh, but that one is really handy. Next is a mascara that I've been liking at the moment it's the Lash Last Fusion by CoverGirl 
Uh, I really like the way that it separates my eyelashes, lengthens them and thickens them up just a little bit as well. Uh, it doesn't give me spider lashes and I just like the way that it looks. I also like the brush. It's sort of a short, stumpy kind of brush with really, um, really firm plastic bristles instead of really wavy ones um, or flimsy ones, but I like that mascara. Next are eyeshadows and in particular nude eyeshadows. I've really been going through a naked eye kind of phase and these are the colours that I've been enjoying. It's this one here, which is, they're all MAC colours, these are my favourites of the moment anyway. Uh, this one's Llama, then I've also enjoyed Vanilla, Naked Lunch and Fluff. They're definitely my favourite um, eyeshadows at the moment, plus I guess there is another one. Uh, flirty number, which is this darker color down here. I've just been using that in my crease a lot Particularly in the videos that you've been watching fairly recently. I've been using a mixture of those colors So I'm really into the nudes at the moment. Next is lip balm. My lip balm of choice right now are my EOS lip balms uh, The one that I like the most is the lemon um, Scent followed by this one, which I think is a menthol or a minty kind of scent Perfume of right now, Ascada Taj Sunset. I really like this scent, and I now that it's getting warmer, I'm starting to use this a lot more. So that's a really nice tropical, kind of fruity scent with a little bit of coconut running through it. And last is a candle, and if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably noticed that I am going through a massive candle burning phase right now. <laughs> this is probably my favourite candle of the moment, and even though it's warmer, I really don't care. I burn candles whenever I want, whatever season it is, doesn't matter. This one's Be Thankful. So, I mean, I guess it suits the people that live overseas who are going through autumn right now, or fall. Um... That's a perfect scent for that time of the year, but I just really love this scent. As you can see, it's uh, almost gone. There's a couple of hours left out of it anyway, so that one's really, really nice. It's like cinnamony and foody pie. <laughs> so that is my favourite candle of the moment as well. So that's it for that video, and yeah, if you notice, I haven't got my nails painted. It's because I need to go and get infills done and just to make it easier I take all my nail polish off before I actually get infills just so it doesn't take as long <laughs> so that's why they're all naked um, and then I get to choose what I'm going to do with my nails after I come back from getting them done so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you've got any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below if not I'll see you in the next video bye